in a big way. It takes place this Sunday at 11 a.m. Sure, you expect dogs, but it's the unexpected pets that are bowling a lot of minds this weekend. I'll give you all the information on my Facebook page. In the meantime, here's how it all went down. When we think about pet adoption, often dogs, cats, maybe bunnies come to mind, but you've probably not thought of snakes or this thing. But it turns out snakes and reptiles are being neglected and abandoned in our area at unprecedented rates. Rosie, a local Girl Scout, heard about this and created an entire event around it, even getting support from regional experts. Um, I'm with Northern California Herpetological Society, and this young lady here reached out to us because she thought that scaly creatures need love too and they need to be rescued. We thought it was really great and we wanted to come out and help her out in her endeavor to rescue all animals. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but you've got a snake around your neck. Yeah. You feeling okay about that? Yeah, oh God. Right. What I love about this, th these creatures represent rescued critters. We always think about dogs or cats. People don't realize that snakes and even, what's that? Bearded dragon. Bearded dragons need rescue too? Yes. All right, tell me about that bearded dragon. Um, Puff is a rescue and he got, rescued when he was a little tiny baby. And what kind of snake is that? A milk snake. How does it make you feel to know that, you know, you're out here helping creatures, big and small and scaly? Um, I love animals, so I think it's like really cool that I get to like be around all these animals and like help them get adopted. So it's really cool, I'm excited. There'll be lots of reptiles this weekend needing love, but also dogs, cats, and bunnies. Jenny sums it up. They're gonna find new homes, it will, find them new homes, get them out of the shelter, and hopefully be loved by their new owners. Exactly. 11 a.m. this Sunday, Carmichael, the Girl Scouts making it happen. Uh, currently, this is Stella getting a belly rub. What kind of dog is Stella? Stella is a Wheaton Terrier mix. Got it. Such a cutie. And available for adoption this weekend? No. No? But a rescue nonetheless, right? Yes. All right. How old is Stella? She is one. Got it. Uh, there will be a lot of other critters out here, and I'm finding out all kinds of critters in addition to uh, reptiles. Uh, this Basset, a rescue. What other kind of animals this weekend? Um, we will have animals like reptiles. We'll um, have guinea pigs, rats, dogs, bunnies, cats, and we might have parrots. We don't know. All right, so uh, stand by for parrots. I'm going to link all the information on my Facebook page. It's Marcus Allen Show. Shout out Girl Scouts for making it happen. And back to you. Something awesome that they're participating in, although Stella already has a home. There's plenty of animals that don't, so even a reptile can be pretty cuddly. Mark, thank you.